What the deal? This your man, King Louis Allah. Coming to y'all on this uh, 30th day of August. In the nation of God's earth. We take that to mean it's a day of understanding and to build you must need you know you know you should utilize your cipher your cipher is your crew is your network is your people is your fam is your friends you consider to be fam right or is the tools or equipment or resources that you have available to you. Uh, uh, three plus zero is the 30th. It's understanding plus cipher. Cipher is the completion of knowledge. Uh, you know, that's 360 degrees. You know, three plus six plus zero is nine. Nine is born. So, you know, we could take that to mean, um, uh, understanding plus equality and zero is to build or to or a completion of knowledge you know you have made something you know and you understand how how things are made right you know but you know three is understanding Zero is cipher. So <clears throat> I'm 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 gonna get into it today. I'm gonna um, get into it today. I'm a this a um you know this just a continuation. Um, I'm a. I, you know, you know, you know. I think I'm gonna call this "Meet the Browns." You know, I, you know, I know y'all probably tired of me talking about these haters, but I'm almost finished, hopefully. And I just, I was going through some old. Uh, that's a um, belly feel. That ain't my belly. My, I was out here trying to exercise. <clears throat> um, I was out. Um, and and you know, so I'm almost finished. I was. I was going through my some some old emails and you know like I keep two, three, four, five email addresses. And I think it's 2014, I sent myself an email. Um someone is spray painting my garage. Right? And it's 2014. And so I took a video of it and I emailed it to my other email. Right, just you know, that, you know that's what I do. And uh, but <clears throat> the reason behind the email is because you know I drank this too. That zero everything. You know. Huh? I'm not getting paid to promote bang, but you know, it 300 milligrams of caffeine, you know, it 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 does a job for me. If 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 you're a road warrior or you you don't need a lot of energy, right? You know, to stay up. You see what I'm talking about? So, bang, right? But um somebody spray spray painted my garage and they and I got a I'm I'm a Show the video at the end of this video, so stay tuned, right? Or I might try to edit it right after I talk about it. I, I'm not sure, probably at the end. But, um, it's, you know, it all stems from friends turning on you, right? And, you know, it's, you know, it must be hard for me to talk about still because I tense up, you know, and, you know, I just come to find, you know, you know, I learned a couple years back, hurt people, hurt people. See what I'm saying? Hurt people, people that is hurt, 
but you know, whether it be physically or mentally, uh, internally, externally, you know, you know, they hurt people, you know, whether it be their intention or them just lashing out and not understanding, you know, how to heal or, or, or where to place their anger. Right. So <clears throat> hurt people hurt people. Right. And so I come to, you know, learn this dealing with, you know, people um, I thought was my friends. Right. Um, and so, you know, this and, and so, you know, I talked about, you know, Doodle Brown and his, and his and his brother. Officer Stanley Brown. Well, I got a picture at the end of this talking about showing you um, Officer Stanley Brown. Um, and I'm talking about this in, in another video, but it's about, you know, uh, you know, hearing people, right? You know, you know, you know, it's, you know, it's about hearing people, right? And, um, and so, and, 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 and so, you know, people are, you know, tuned in to each other and you should, you know, you should say to like pe people that grew up around each other, um, uh, you know, should be tuned in. Like, you know, like you hear instances where you know, I had a dream or a bad feeling and then they wake up and someone close to them has been hurt or injured or dead or something, right? You know, you know people have premonitions and you know, they, you know, like if, and, and so, you know, it's, and so, you know, you know, these, you know, these, you know, the Browns, you know, I, grew up with the Browns. I mean, you know, we like, you know, we grew up down the street from each other. You know, went to the same school. And, you know, my, um, I mean, you know, I walked home every day with the Browns, right? From Jesu Catholic on uh, Oak Drive and West McNichols. West McNichols is also known as Six Mile. From second grade until the eighth grade, and before that, Doodle Brown's eldest siblings all peeled off. They went to high school and college, you know, they older. And so it was just me and him and some more friends, Dante, we, uh, my sister, my cousins, you know, some friends from Jaisal. You know, we all walked home together every day for like, what's that, second grade to eighth grade. Then we went to the same high school. And then, um, you know, we was friends as, as, as boys and our mothers became friends. So much so that our grandmothers became friends, right? And their, Doodle Brown, Officer Brown mother would bring her mother over to my grandparents' house and they would sit down, chop it up. You know, they would go out, eat. And, you know, they would talk about the South and the, the, the same people they knew in the South. See, my, grand, my grandfather from Alabama and my grandmother from Mississippi. And, you know, I think... Um, Doodle Brown's grandmother and some of his people from Mississippi and maybe Alabama, I don't know. But, you know, they would go down there, like my mother went, I, you know, I, you know, I think they have a, like a family reunion or some kind of party down there in Alabama, or in uh, Mississippi or Alabama, I can't remember. And, uh, you know, she seen, uh, Doodle Brown and Officer Brown mother down there and they partied together, you know, they hanging together. You know, she told me just, you know, last year, a couple years ago, they meet to still have lunch. 
And so I and so I tell her, I like, you know, well, be careful, cause you know, you know, they not my friends no more. I mean, really, truly, honest, you know, they not, you know, we not friends no more. And it ain't to my doing. It's just, you know, they've been hurt, and you know, they grew up with. You know, I'm assume I'm a, um, I'm a, I'm a just based on my observation, they grew up with pain. You know, childhood trauma, pain of, you know, their father not being in the household. You know, as I reflect, you know, Doodle Brown was always jealous of me when I meet and 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 build and get other friends. You know, he would male or female, he's jealous. And so as I'm thinking about this, before I talk about it, you know, I, I don't I don't know if that's a sign of homosexuality. You know, that you know, dude got me, you know, he he must be trying to fuck me up, you know, but you know, in, in high school, you know, I'm talking about a chum and this dude he he getting jelly. Are you on I'm not on that man like that. That's you know. But you know, but so after the ninth grade we ain't hang out too much no more to graduation and grad I got pictures but but I took them down, you know, of you know, I got childhood pictures of at a party of 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 an like eighth eight eight years old, nine years old of a party with me and him and some more of my Jesu friends. And 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 I got another picture at a reunion. At 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 at, at our thirtieth reunion with me and him and the and 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 and, and, and the friend of ours that was in the picture, you know, at nine, ten years old. So, you know, but man, I you know, you know, like I tell you in these previous videos, I never been nothing but a friend. You know, I wasn't raised to be no hater, no jealous person, or no two-faced snake dude, you know? Um, so, um, so yeah, you know, as, as, as I reflect, you, you know, he always been, you know, been a, a jealous type of dude, and it's, now it's like it ain't funny you know it ain't it ain't it's it ain't funny at all you know not a you know not a little bit and it's sad that you know he don't know how to be friends as an adult right you know and he you know we's all friends but you know he saw himself stealing you know he thinking you know, he seen me back in '94 building with fat, with fat stank and the uh, little bitch one, right? He saw me building with them, you know, and with the shirts and the music and everything. And and he thinking fat stank the man, you know, and he won't even give my my props, my credit for you know putting us together or or, or building, you know, off what we doing. And you know, he was jealous and so he saw himself stealing Fast Dank from me and trying to use Fast Dank to help him, you know, get somewhere. But it all didn't backfire. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he because he he had a secret competition with people he need help from. And competing with your friends like on that level you know, obviously won't lead to much because, you know, Fast Dank can cut him off 20 years, you know. And, you know, and, and, you know, it's just, you know, it's ridiculous now how jealous and petty and small-minded the dude is, right? And so, <clears throat> so, you know, his brother, this Officer Brown, he was second young, or the, yeah, the, the second, the, Wayne, the youngest, Doodle Brown, the youngest, and Officer Brown is the second youngest. Then it's three more. It's, 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 it's Greg, Kim, and Rob, right? 
Stanley and Doodoo Brown. Well, you know, you know, I left them dudes alone though in the ninety, the beginning of ninety five, you know. Moved away. Well, I, I moved off that side of town, I should say. And you know, so I didn't and so I didn't know Officer Brown Stanley was a police officer until two thousand and two thousand and uh five or two thousand and four, right? I didn't know he was police. And so he retired. 2016, I, you know, I, I looked it up on the, on the internet, and, you know, he retired after 20 years of service, and, you know, come to find out, you know, I, now I don't know if he spent time in the Southwest, but he always been, like, my neighborhood precinct police officer, he retired from the 6th precinct, which is the uh, Northwest Policing, which is the precinct that got shot up, right? And uh, I think I think that's right. And so, um, so you know, back to being tuned in and 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 and, and hearing and you know you know being able to voice yourself without being present and you know getting people to you know getting other people to hear you and and but and believe you you know even when you ain't around, right? So. Um, this 2014, and so 2005 or six or something, when I come back in their life, um, you know, and they, and, and, you know, so, so I was, I was pulling away from them again. You know, I, I messed with them in 04, that's, that's Fast Tank and Doodle Brown, in 04 and 05, and, but 06, I pulled away. I got a, Got you know, my money got low, and I can't hang with you like that, cause y'all ain't getting paid, y'all ain't trying to do nothing. So I got to go try to you know maintain my myself, right? And so um, you know I and so I pulled away, you know, and um, you know that's when they start putting my name in uh, you know, you know. Fast ain't getting robbed and you know, Doodle Brown mother getting robbed. You know, he you know they start saying, you know, I sent the Robinsons dude at uh Dwayne Doodle Brown the Brown mother to steal her cars and I mean to steal her tires and the and the and the and the Rob Fast Ain't store. Right? That's, that's my man trimming the grass. But um and so so you know um and and so you know they would and so you know like I said before Officer Brown got mad and, and you know he put my name in it and, and you know he was running my name all through the mud in the street. You know, this after I'm showing them, man, I'm about college. I'm thinking about, you know, how to make the city better. You know, I'm throw my throw my name in the hat for mayor. You know, not if I had some money and and a, and a completed education, I would. You know, I mean, I would I would build on that and put out ideas, hopefully, that could help make the city better, right? And you know, he they. They hated on that, you know. That you know they hated on that, and so and so they and so they still and so I'm doing it because they still hating the day, right? They still hating the day, and they start they started this shit in 05, 06. They start hating 07. They just want to slander my name, ruin my reputation, ruin my name. That ain't funny. And so um. So one night I was home, it was 2014. <clears throat> I don't know where I was working. And um, somebody spray painted my garage, but Officer Brown put out there in the street that I was a police. So, you know, I, I, I must have been dealing with some, some uh, kids over here, right? They like to 
post up in front of my house and you know, party and gambled and drank and shit. And I'm like, you, might, you know, y'all got the move, right? You know, they like to play on my porch. I mean, 14, 15, 16, y'all too old to be doing that. You know, if y'all that grown, you know, you know, squat in somebody's house, right? Go buy your, go, you know, go to your mama backyard. Don't play around my house, right? And then so, and then so, um, so the neighbors was concerned and it was, you know, it was finna get ugly. And then, you know, I stepped to them by myself. I stepped to them. Like I come home from work and they all congregate. I said, man, y'all got to move. It was about 10, 15. Y'all got to move, man, for real. Y'all step right in the middle of them. You know, y'all got to raise up. This ain't your, I don't want you in front of my house. You know, who you here to see? Man, your sister lay across the street. You know, so. But they didn't move. Everything copacetic. The house caught fire like five, three years after they moved. So I don't, I don't know what they're doing with the house. But Officer Stanley Brown put out there in the street over here, told, so, so those young dudes could hear. He told them I was police. You know, he, he said I was police officer. I ain't no police. I don't argue with that. Whatever, whatever, right? And so I come out the next morning, they spray painted my garage, they put a gang, something on there, and say, free my bros, you know, free, free, free my bros. They spray paint on my garage, free my bros. Like I can free they bros, like I'm a police officer. I'm like, wow, this dude then, you know, then told some, these little niggas on police, they believe that, and they wanna get at me, right? The other day, and so I'm making this video, the other day, Last week, this week, I'm taking stuff in the house from, from, from I'm, I'm taking my groceries in the house. He do it again, you know, to a car coming down the street. He say, that's police. You know, you know, he police. The dude start driving right towards me like he wanted to hit me, right? And so he said, oh, that ain't police. And Stanley, and Stanley talking about, so we can't say no to police. At this pivotal point in police citizen relations, you know, the police is uh, pariah if you're not really good police. So, you know, man, the, the dude ain't funny, right? And so he still, you know, think, you know, and so he still got people think he's a police officer, but I just found out. He retired 2016, that's like four years ago, right? And so I'm like, man, you know, they they, they still hate me. And so, you know, the, you know, the dude just a hater, man. He's just a hater, you know? So, um, yeah. So then, you know, you know, I think, you know, and you know, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's a look up to fast tank, right? And you know, this is where the childhood trauma come in. You know, he, he's a look up to him, you know, fast tank told him to tell on me about this and the third, and, you know, he tell him anything about me and Stanley believe it. Right. And I've been, I've been knowing that dude, you know, I didn't walk and back at him with doodle Brown walking from Jesu, but you know, since they graduated Jesu, and for, you know, and then thereafter, and you know, dude just, it was like, you know, I was down at Fast Tank one time, buying some weed and he come down there buying some weed. You know, you know, this before he became a police officer, buying some weed. And you know, he looking at me, you know, he didn't want me to say nothing, acknowledge him. Like, you know, he didn't want Fast Tank to know I knew him. And, but you know, he had like a real jealous, like, you know, because they think Fast ain't the man because he's so weird and he had a blazer, but his father and mother bought that stuff for him. And, you know, you know, for one to understand, you know, he could be paid, but, you know, but I, I ain't jealous. And uh, so, you know, what happened? Um, so, but, you know, Fast Dank, been you know living in the house for a long time with his parents then it, you know they got divorced and his his mother stayed there then his father moved in and she left 
And so he and so Fast Tank been able to live with his father till today. Officer Brown, dude Brown never had a father. In in the house. And so they think he the man because be, because he can with his father like that, right? They they think he the man because his father ain't put him out, right? Be, and but but Fast ain't over 50, 50 years old. And you know, that's too, I mean, society teaches us that's too old to live at home at 50 when you're not physically dis physically or mentally disabled. You know, I, I think that's like extremely spoiled, right? And I'm not hating on Fast Tank living around with his parents, how they raise him is that's that's their business, you know. I just, but, but, but a man don't understand self-reliance, self-responsibility. If he, at, 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 at a certain age, still rely and depend on his parents. You see, and so, to me, he ain't the man because he can't take care of himself off the money people think he make or has. You see, uh, uh, I mean, you know, that's a mortgage. That, you know, that's a couple of car notes, car insurance, health insurance. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, utilities, bills, clothes, food. You know, you know. So I don't, I don't think he the man. But they think he the man, the Browns, because they father wasn't in the household, and he, and he can still live with his father. The little bitch one expressed the same kind of sentiment that Fast Tank the man, cause he can with his father. Fast Tank, Fast Tank is so mad because they don't understand. See, I pick up on his anger when they say, "Well, you the man, you can stay with your father." You know, saying how you know the little bitch one wish, wish you know he could have stayed with his father. But you know, you know, he he put himself out to go live with his brother, right? You know, you know, he didn't want to, you know, you know, he wanted to be a big boy real fast. And so, you know, he dropped out of school in ninth grade and went to go live with Vincent. You know, and so, you know, he moved himself out. You know, I don't I don't I, I never heard or believe his father put him out. You know. He put himself out, right? And so he's saying that, you know, Fat Keith the man, cause he can't with his father. Fat Keith, man, don't have the confidence or, you know, knowledge to go, you know, be a man in the real world, just maintain his own household. You see? So I don't think he the man. So, you know, man, that, you know, that creates a lot of mis misgivings and misfeelings. You see, so, um, yeah, man, the, you know, the, the dude just a hater, man. They hate us. They hate us. But, you know, as far as the police is concerned, man, I don't, I don't think people should be scared of the police. You know, I think, I think people ought to still respect the police and, if you ain't done nothing, right? If if you ain't done nothing, you shouldn't be scared. Just comply. You know, it it it'll be over. And if they make a mistake, and it's and it's and it's real bad, they're gonna pay for it. You see, you know, all all you gotta do is get a lawyer. If you ain't done nothing, you have no reason to be scared. If you ain't done nothing, so if you if all your paperwork is 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 uh current and it's all there you got your license is is current your insurance your registration and other documents is is in order you ain't drink you you not under the influence of drugs or alcohol and 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 your car or vehicle is safe to be on the road and you ain't done nothing don't be scared just comply just come play. Just be real cool. Just be real cool with the police. You don't have to be scared because they stop you. 
Don't run. If you if you ain't done nothing, don't run. And when they stop you, they gonna tell you why they stopping you. You know, it could be a traffic violation. Your car could fit the description of of, of a car they looking for. But if they but and so if they don't let you go and and you and you know you ain't done nothing, don't worry about it. All you gotta do is comply. You know, you know they wanna take you to jail and you know you ain't done nothing, go to jail. That's a lawsuit. That's money. You see? So you know, man, that's that's you know, you know, that's all I'm saying. They, there ain't no reason to be scared of the police if you ain't done nothing. That's all I'm saying. Stop stop letting them scare you into them killing you. Into them shooting you. Because when you scared, they get scared. You know, like, you know, you got something to hide if you scared. You know, they people just like us. You know, they just got a badge and a uniform and a gun. So, but they people, people just like us. See what I'm saying? So there ain't no reason to be scared of another person that's doing a job. And they could be wrong, but that ain't no reason for you to be scared to the point they put a gun out and shoot you. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So just be cool. Just be cool. And if you cool, there ain't no reason for them to be pulling out their gun. And 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 if they wanna investigate you right then and there, exercise your right to remain silent. If you not under arrest or if you are, volunteer to go to jail and get an attorney. You don't have to talk to them. But just be cool. Stop being that scared where you run and you ain't done nothing. That's and 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 you got family kids in the car. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So you know, I, 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 just, I just want to talk about these haters, man. I just want to show you this. You know how how hateful and jealous and devious the Browns could be. You know, I mean, man, friend wouldn't say you does. And so I've been, you know, knowing them dudes a long time. I wouldn't, I don't, I don't do that, man. You know, it's a, you know, it's a song. And so I think it told you, I guess they trying to hurt me. I guess. See, 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 and so, and so now they on that gay stuff again. They, they listen to TLC, right? You know, they know I used to love TLC, right? And they on some, you know, a uh, uh, nickel gotta be down. So they think, you know, you gotta be down, right? And and they on that uh that remake you did, that that remix you did about uh Prince Prince song, you know. You know, if you know, would you run to me if I was the one to hurt you, right? But that's that's gay. You know, that's a, that's a gay. If I was your girlfriend, that's gay. You see what I'm saying? That's gay because that's the game they playing though. But that's I ain't. I don't even go there. I don't even pretend to you know even act that way when I'm around gay motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I don't. I don't get down like that, right? So. But yeah, man, they they hurt they hurt people, and you know I'm 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 never I can't be cool with men that's stuck in they that you know like my mother say you festering in your pain you know you festering in shit that's bothering you so that means get over it figure out how to get over it talk to someone go to therapy counseling you see what I'm saying so but that's all I wanted to share man stay tuned for the um, the uh, pick in the uh, video. Peace, I'm out. Oh, hey, one last thing, man. Um, you know, um, it's just so how, how dirty these these dudes is. Vincent Robinson and Stanley Brown. I, you know, I've I've heard the Robinsons refer to Officer Brown as as or Officer retired Officer Stanley Brown as um, dirty crooked or corrupt or whatever and because you know he knew of these crimes and you know did nothing about it you know Vincent Robinson lived in his precinct if if the Northwest is the sixth precinct you know he 
he lived in his precinct. And, uh, you know, he ran up on his mother. Um, you know, back in the day, their mother had a green Plymouth Acclaim. And, you know, Vincent, Vincent Robinson admit to stealing that. You know, that's something I heard, right? So, you know, man, I, you know, and then, um, you know, you know, back to what I was saying about discerning people's tone and words and actions. Well, you know, you got to be careful. Well, I, you know, I, you know, I, I know this people be like, my haters be like, well, you know, after I assume they see these videos, they be like, sorry, sorry. But, you know, if, you know, they don't mean sorry, you know, they, you know, they the ones saying that They, they apologize to let you know, to, to let you know they are the ones that cause the injury or cause whatever needs to be sorry for, you see? So that's, so that's another way of them haters, you know, talking stuff, you know, somebody was sorry, so and they just letting you know they the ones that hit you or you know cause you some some discomfort some some pain some embarrassment some humiliation you know so, you know some disrespect so some, some insult you know they you know that's their way of taking credit like you know how terrorists you know do some in 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 secret and then you know they take credit for when they go back to their country so you know, man, you know, it's just, you know, these dudes, I, I don't know. I mean, I ain't, I'm not a show off. I don't, I don't think I have nothing to show off. And, it, and, you know, I was raised in the D. I was, you know, I was raised in the city. And, you know, I've been knowledge and, and known people, including myself, that's been robbed and shot. You know, so I, I don't, I'm, I ain't a fool, you know wisdom and knowledge and understanding is you learn from other people's mistakes or other people's mishaps other people's unfortunate events you know it's 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 simple you know you see people speeding up, you know doing and 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 on the on the road you take to work every day and you know so you ought to learn through other people getting stopped by the police and getting tickets not to speed. So, you know, I learned through um, other people's mistakes and, and errors and, and, you know, and, and even, 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 you know, what they do right. So, you know, I'm not, I don't, I, I don't be walking around the D, you know, sat flossing, you know, that's, you know, that's, you know, you know, that's ridiculous. Like I had my, had my little, my, my smaller nation, guys, the Earth Universal flag on, on the east side. And I was, I was at my father's apartment. And you know, these little rocks rolled past me looking all hand, head hanging out the window looking hard. You know what I'm saying? Like they would snatch that shit. You see what I'm saying? So I don't be walking around or, or flossing or showing off that. I ain't, I ain't never done that. Because, you know, when I was young, people got robbed and shot, you know, you know that I personally knew. At a young, like in eighth grade, ninth grade, you know what I'm saying, 10th grade. So, you know, people, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. So for the, for, you know, for them, to, and, 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 and you know, you know, I got haters so shallow and petty, you know, you can, you know, put out into the atmosphere where they, they can hear that I got a certain kind of car, or, you know, make a certain amount of money and, and, and they'll start hating without even knowing it to be true. You see? So man, that's, you know, man, people just, man, it's. You know, you know, you know, you know. I, you know, I think Rakim got a song say something about jealousy and hate is, is spreading, it's rampant, it's crazy, man. You know these 
It was crazy, man. And you know, I, you know, as I, you know, I've always been about helping my friends. You know, if we doing the same thing or, you know, sharing information. I don't withhold information. Never thought of wisdom and never been big headed. Never. What for? You know, ain't done nothing. You know what I'm saying? But, man, it's just, you know, you realize, you know, somebody say, if somebody uh, start hating on or starts hating on you after, after something happened, you know, real bad, you know, it ain't nothing new. To, you know, they've been hating on you. You know, man, so, you know, I think Fabulous got a song, say, it's called Principles. Him and Jada Kiss, he say, you know, I wasn't with, these dudes wasn't with me, they were just around me. You see? So, you know, that's all I'm saying, man, you know, that's all I'm saying. I'm out, peace. Look what these dumbass niggas did around here. I don't know what the fuck this shit mean, but... Niggas need to be careful who they fucking with. I don't play that shit.